G'day, this is Matt Jones here from the Property Development Kit and uh, I'm just outside enjoying a little bit of nature, a bit of sunshine, getting sand between my toes and I thought I'd just share with you a little tip from the Property Development Kit. In fact, it's not really a tip, it's, uh, it's kind of debunking a myth I figured, something that I've learnt along the way and that is that property development doesn't necessarily uh, follow on from subdivision. So when I started in property investing I did a lot of renovation, then I moved into subdivision and then I did uh, property development but it doesn't necessarily have to be that way and it's really not often the best way of doing it because development has really not a lot to do with subdivision although there are two key components of property development and that is the subdivision side of things where you're actually submitting DAs and working with things underground like sewer and water and and uh, dealing with those sorts of things and then there's the other side of it which is the construction so you're actually working with builders and managing trades and doing design concepts and working with architects and that sort of thing so it's really very unrelated to, to subdivision. So that means that you don't necessarily have to go through that same process that I did, which was renovation, subdivision, development. You can get straight into uh, some sort of development. Now, what I would say is start, uh, start small. You know, you can really think big. That's my motto, think big, start small. But, uh, so don't go into the sexy four unit developments or 30 townhouse developments and that sort of thing. Just start with something small like a a one spec home property where you just build one property on one block of land and that way you really learn how to um, deal with the the components of construction so that is managing your builder um, sorting out different types of finance um, coming up with a design that really suits your market those sort of things which is very different to uh, working with council and submitting the DA and that side of things so that's my little uh, myth I'd like to debunk, I guess. You don't need to go through renovation, subdivision, and then into development as I have. You can get straight into it, but just do it with uh, something with a small project first. So I hope that's helped with you. I'm going to get back to my uh, nature walk, and uh, I'll hopefully talk to you soon. This has been Matt Jones from the Property Development Kit, and you can get more tips and information by going to www.propertydevelopmentkit.com.au.